Now that you have created your survey and added the questions to it and linked it to its delivery method, you would now want to preview the survey so that you could start making modifications if necessary. There are two ways to preview a survey. The first way is to click on modules, click on surveys, in the grid to the left hand side, you need to locate the survey that you're wanting to preview. Click onto its title so that the survey becomes active on the right hand side and you can see its questions at the bottom. Click on the preview button. Please note at this point you do need to have published the survey to be able to preview it. CLA will generate the survey and a preview will be displayed on the screen. Right, you would now be able to work your way through the survey by clicking on Start Now. I'm going to click on Start Later because I want to show you the other way that you preview a survey. The second way that you can preview the survey is to click on Modules, click on Pop-ups. Because this survey is being delivered via pop-up, you would then click onto the pop-up that you are wanting to preview, the one that's linked to the survey. You will see it on the right-hand side. Then you will click on the preview button at the bottom of the left-hand screen. This is going to display the pop-up that will deliver the survey. By clicking through on that pop-up, it will then open the survey for you to preview. This is the better way to preview a survey because you will experience it the same way as your end user. When the, when the pop-up arrives, you would see your Remind Me Later options. Those are the snooze options that you allowed on your pop-up. By clicking onto the pop-up itself, your survey clipboard is going to open. Right, and we are now going to work our way through it. This is your survey title, the one that you specified while you were setting up your, the, the shell of your survey. This here is your survey introduction. Your Start Now button will allow you to start the survey, and Later is an option because you made the survey snoozable. By clicking on Start Now, it opens question number one. Question number one is a single select question that you are able to make one selection from this list that you provided. You would then be able to click on next to proceed to question two. This here, these little lips, is the anonymous icon which allows your end user to know that this is an anonymous question. Their um, identity would be concealed when the report is pulled. Snooze is available because you have made this the survey snoozable. By clicking on next, you'd go to question two. This is also a single select question, but we have allowed these responses to be shown in a drop down. You select one, click on next. Different type of response. This is a multi select. I'm able to select multiple options from the list provided. If I scroll down, you'll see there were seven options. Other is one of the options. I'm not going to select other. I'm going to click on next, but take note, we're on question three out of eight. If I click on next, I will go to question five out of eight. I have skipped question four. By going previous, I've changed my mind. I do want to select other. I can select other. Now if I click on next, question four is going to display. Because I selected other, I need this person to now elaborate. Okay, it's a free text. They can type in their own answer. Click on Next. This is a rearrange question. Here you are able to pr provide a list of options, which the end user then has to select and move using these arrows up and down until this represents the order that they would like to display these items in. 
Once they have finalized their order, they then click on Next. Right, this is the meeting request question. So would you like to attend the communication forum meeting? Yes or no? I'm going to open Outlook in the background. Right, there's Outlook opened to Friday the 13th of December. You can see my diary is empty. Outlook does not need to be open. I'm just demonstrating what this question does. If I click on yes, I would like to attend the meeting. It's going to ask me if I'd like to put it into my calendar. If I say yes, it puts the item into my Outlook calendar automatically. There's no meeting requests that need to be sent or anything of the sort. This is a scored question. Here, your next button now says mark. It says in which year was the first version of CLA released. If I select 2000 and I click on mark, it will mark it incorrect because the correct answer is 2008, but it will also lock this question. I cannot change it. Even if I go previous, if I then go back again, I still cannot change this answer. Now if I click on next, it will take me to our final question. Which three of the following are CLA modules? If I select four, I have controlled the number of options. When I set this question up in the admin tool, it will tell me that you must select three. If I now select three and I mark, it's going to mark it. It also locks this question. I cannot change it. And when I click on next, it takes me to my final screen where I would then click on finish. That is the two ways that you are able to preview a survey.